and back again. It's even more upgrade time. Let's upgrade the shit out of our stuff. Because we want to get away from that planet, but we also want to achieve things. Still not enough titanium. I just need another thing. Food is getting stacked bigger than water. I wish I wish the game would have made upgrades for all these hand gliders and all that. For all these tools. So you could get more value out of them. That. I'm happy that I didn't need rubies because I'm literally getting out of these. Depth module 2. I need more rubies. So, let's put that on. And then we can upgrade some more modules for the Seamoth just to make it more valuable. Think now this thing should go like two thousand something deep, or one thousand three hundred. I think like the same like the prawn suit again. So they're both on the same depth level. Then yeah, it's just saving because we're making a lot of goddamn progress. Oh, I forgot there are more rubies here. More nickel ore there. More deep sea shrooms. More nickel. Nickel and silver. Just getting a bit more stuff back into the base. So what do we want for the sea moth? We have a storage module we basically don't really need. We I probably think we want the sonar. The sonar and the solar. I think like the sea moth parameter defense system would be also nice, but I think we should start with the sonar. Copper wire and two magnetite. Two magnetite. I hope I have two magnetite. Yes. See, it's like those are like these materials that never really get used in that game. Copper wire. Wiring kit. We need an advanced wiring kit later on. And an emerald glass. We need it for one. So the upgrade craze. Sonar. We got that. The solar charger advanced wiring kit. I think we need more table corals for that. And gold again.
So table corals it is then. Probably just noticed that obviously looking at the crafting recipes for all the um, for all the seamoth parts it is literally just n easy shit it is easy to just grab the stuff most of it is around me I grab a lot in the deeper area so I collected enough to just keep on crafting all these upgrades and the seamoth is basically at best for medium depths, the deepest depth area is like around 3000, 3500 in this game, so you probably get the point. What I'm trying to say is that there's not much useful aspect left for this vehicle. Copper wire. Making a computer chip. Do I need more gold? I need more gold. I need more gold again. Silver. The ladder is still falling. This is not a gangster quote. So, maybe should, we should recharge some batteries later on. Come on, gold! Diamond is nice too, but gold, bro, gold! I should have enough oxygen to manage that. Oh, we should also check the water station then. Should be, again, more water for me. Advanced wiring kit. So solo recharge mod.
two batteries is not worth that point. That fucker is really annoying me. Come on, stop getting on my nerves, Sand Shark Boy. So, all the high quality water goes in here. So, 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 so. Oh! What? Let me in. And the last upgrade would be polyaniline and a wiring kit. So, basic stuff. Polyaniline and a wiring kit. Let's, let's drive the sea moth away from that asshole. Let's drop the stupid tank. Take that out. Let's put that in. And for the time being, as long as we don't have other upgrades in our prawn, we can just give the prawn another upgrade for the storage. And the storage should be now huge, yes. Let me build four more. Copper and titanium. Titanium we need two times. Oh, we don't have enough. That's okay. Because parts run out again, so anyways, we did a lot of shit. The Seamoth is completely stacked out. We decked out the prawn suit again, got another upgrade for the submarine, for the Cyclops, so we can now make the next tour even deeper into the deeper levels. So we should go through the Sea Trader's path to the point of the Blood Kelp Trench and we will proceed trying to go as far down as possible to get more shit. So until the next time, see ya!